Hey everyone, this is Alan from BMW Durham back again with another video. We have another new arrival. It's the 2024 BMW X5 X Drive 50E in Tanzanite blue metallic with Tartufo merino leather interior. All right, so this is the 2024 BMW X5 X Drive 50E in Tanzanite blue metallic. It is looking extra extra dark in the showroom here but once i walk all the way around you can see some of the light reflecting off of the vehicle it will become quite apparent that this is tanzanite blue metallic i have the car aired out so this one does have the air suspension just hit unlock again on the key so we've got the tail lights coming on now and we also have the welcome light carpet just down here. It's hard to see because it's bright, but this is the hybrid. And once I do a lap all the way around the car, let's take a look at all the details. Okay, so we got Tanzanite Blue Metallic. If you've been a long time viewer of my channel, You'll probably know that this is one of my favorite colors in BMW. From here, it looks nearly black. From the side where the sun is coming through, or what little sun we have today on an overcast day, you can definitely tell that this is a blue color. And Tanzanite blue just looks so awesome. So we've got these body lines that are running lengthwise on the hood. We have the rondelle here with the blue accent. We have the um, one piece matte black kidney grill with the vertical slats camera at the front down here this of course has the m sport package and that's why it looks so fancy the way it does I'm just going to hit the uh, unlock button here so we can get the headlights to come on so double chevron design nice little welcoming animation when we hit unlock we also have the front grill illuminating as well at night time this will look absolutely fantastic and the bumper design looks really good with everything in the M Sport design. Now, in terms of the headlights themselves, they are the individual Shadowline BMW LED headlights. So these headlights have a black housing on the inside, but they still have all of those cool, intricate little details that BMW headlights tend to have. Now, when we come around to the side, because this is M Sport, we do have the over fender in body color so this is the 20 inch 740 m wheel in orbit gray and this is with a burnished finish blue m sport brake over here blue accent on the rondelle now when we come around to the side so i noticed our hybrids even on the x330e uh, we actually have m badging on the fenders as well as this electrified by i badging on the fender as well that's of course where the charge port door is so if i press on the m while the car is unlocked the light there is to allow us to see first and then secondly to indicate these things in the legend to let us know what's happening with the charging status so that door is connected to the central locking system body colored side mirrors Black window surrounds. This car was also tinted. We have black roof rails. I couldn't wipe all the water off the roof, but we do have a panoramic sunroof up there as well. New style antenna. Beautiful body lines going lengthwise on the vehicle. I like how this one goes up through the handle. And there's that rear 740M wheel. We got a little spoiler here on the back. Rear wiper arm. Rear tail lights are now on, so you do get a cool little animation when they turn on. So let me just demonstrate that. Just walked into something. So they go into the center when you go away. And when they come back, they come from the center. So that's awesome. Blue accent again on the Rondell. X5, X-Drive 50E. Down here, we've got the freeform exhaust, single exit, center diffuser. Let's kick our foot underneath the middle of the car. So once that opens up, you'll see that we have cargo cover here. The lease lever is right there, that little button on top of the vent. Carpeted floor mats are here. I'm gonna lift this up. Level one charger, 
right? That's what comes with the X550E. Little trunk nut. We have tow hook, wheel lock key. 12 volt plug here. Grocery bag hanger, netted area. There's a fuse panel behind there. This side, another grocery bag hanger, netted area inside of here. Some storage space. So this one doesn't have a uh, performance tire, so it has run flat, so there's no tire inflator kit. Also have a button here so we can lower the height of the car. So once again, it was already low, but it's just going to go a touch lower. Perfect. And we also have a button that lowers or raises the lower tailgate. But here we have button to close, another button to close and lock. So we're just going to press the close one for now. Or we could just go ahead even and kick our foot underneath the car to have that close the hands free way. Perfect. Now the fuel cap door is found on the passenger side, but you can't open it on a hybrid uh, with just pressing it. You have to go to the driver's side. <clears throat> and inside the driver door, our hybrids have a fuel cap door button release. So you press it, it says preparing for refueling. And then once it says refueling possible, you'll be able to go to the other side. So there it is. All right, so if I press nine o'clock, the door will now open. I can turn this counterclockwise one click. It's a little spot here to put this it's clockwise to close it again. We're looking for 91 octane. If I open the back door, you'll see inside we have that beautiful Tartufo merino leather interior. So this is a individual interior color. That looks awesome. We have the manual sunshades. Just tie them up on top here. We have Bowers and Wilkins sound system, ambient lighting, carbon fiber interior trim, pocket down here, illuminating and aluminum M door sill. Two outer headrests can flip up, but if nobody's sitting here, you can um, flip them back down. Release levers on the shoulders here to fold down the seats in a 60 40 split. We have an armrest in the center with storage and cup holders. Once the armrest is down, you're able to then find the string here that allows you to pull this down for a center pass-through. Up top, we do have the Sky Lounge panoramic sunroof, so whatever ambient light color you choose will show up there. It's much easier to see at nighttime. Also, Bowers & Wilkins does illuminate, so that's awesome. We also have the accessory port on the back of each front seat that has the accessory port with the USB Type-C. Pocket on the back of each front seat here as well. And also we have vents in the back of the center console, rear climate controls with heated seats for the two outer positions, little storage space down here, USB type C and 12 volt plug, more vents underneath the front seats. Let's go open the front passenger door next. All right, so if I approach from the front passenger door, I open that up, we'll quickly see here that we have door panel inside of here with Tartufo interior, Nice stitching going across. Again, we've got Bowers and Wilkins. And here we've got carbon fiber, massage chair, memory seats. This looks awesome, right? Aluminum M door sill down here. Full power seat with lumbar and side bolster. Carbon fiber across the dash. iDrive 8.5, interaction light bar going across. This is how you open, this is how you close the vents. Sorry, this is how you close, this is how you open. Down here, Large size illuminated glove box. Under all this carbon fiber, we have a wireless charger, USB type A, 12 volt plug, cup holders, heated and cooled uh, cup holders are here, glass controls. So that looks awesome. Open that up, USB type C charging ports in there. And we also have your air suspension controller right here. So we're back to uh, default height. Let's go open the door on the driver's side next. If we open the door from the driver's side, let me just open that up, you'll see inside. Again, beautiful Bowers and Wilkins, massage chair, driver's seat uh, operates the front passenger seat, tailgate, memory, side mirror controls, right, window controls. And down here, there's that fuel release button. Again, full power seat with those beautiful Tartufo seats. Says uh, BMW individual right on them, so that's pretty awesome. We have a beautiful M Sport steering wheel, again with the blue accent, head up display, universal garage door opener underneath the rear view mirror. And this car has 
360 cam. So it's got all the different self parking, frontwards, backwards, parallel park, come out of a parking spot. And we also, of course, have lights on the steering wheel that tells me that this has the full assisted driving plus suite of cruise control. So this is fully, fully jammed. Extra lighting controls, little storage compartment here. Let's pop the hood. So it's one, two. When we come around to the front, we won't have to find anything here. We simply just lift this up. So this is the B58 hybrid. Uh, so this is with 483 horsepower, 516 foot pounds of torque. So compared to the pre LCI, a huge bump in power. We also get um, positive battery terminal here, negative battery terminals this post, washer fluids over here. Uh, this is an absolute beast, best of both worlds with hybrid and gas power. And I like all the strut braces under here as well. That looks great. And uh, yeah, I think this is a beast. Let me know in the comments what you think. Okay, so we are going to do one more lap all the way around the car before we conclude the video. It's back up to regular height. So you can kind of see what that looks like as compared to the beginning of the video when it was completely aired out. Tanzanite blue looks fantastic. And coupled with Tartufo interior, this is uh, a really, really nice spec. But you guys let me know in the comments below what you think of this spec. All right, everyone, so that was my tour of this beautiful 2024 BMW X5 xDrive 50e in Tanzanite blue metallic with a Tartufo interior. Uh, congratulations, Mr. Warsame. I think uh, this car looks awesome. I know you waited a long time, and I know you've been watching all my videos while you wait, so big congratulations there. Uh, if you like the car, if you like the video, if you like me, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Uh, we'll see you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Please follow me on Instagram, and we'll have that information for the pricing in the description. See you next time.